Sketch the level curve of the function f of x comma y equals x squared minus y squared for c equals nine. Recall each level curve is a 2D graph of the intersection of the surface given by f of x comma y and a plane z equals c where c is a constant. Notice in our case, we have c equals nine. To determine the equation of a level curve, we set f of x comma y equal to c. Let's first look at this graphically. On the right, we have the graph of the function f of x comma y, and now let's graph the plane z equals negative five. The intersection of this plane and the surface is one level curve when we have c equals negative five. If we look down on the xy plane, the level curve appears to be a hyperbola. And now let's animate the plane z equals c for various values of c. Each of these intersections represents a level curve for the function. If we stop at z equals nine when c is nine, this intersection is a level of curve we want to sketch. Before we go, let's look at a possible contour map for the function f of x comma y, which is a set of level curves. Here's one possible contour map for the given function. And now let's take a look at these level curves on the three-dimensional surface. Notice they're all intersections of the plane z equals c, where c is some constant. And now let's go back to our problem. The equation for the level curve when c equals nine is going to be x squared minus y squared equals nine, which is an equation of a hyperbola. Let's review some notes on how to graph a hyperbola. If we have the x part minus the y part equal to one, we have a horizontal transverse axis and the hyperbola opens left and right. If we have the y part minus the x part equals one, then we have a vertical transverse axis and the hyperbola opens up and down. In our case, because we have x squared minus y squared equals nine, we are going to have a horizontal transverse axis. But of course we want the right side to be equal to one, so let's divide everything by nine. Simplifying, we have x squared divided by nine minus y squared divided by nine equals one. Notice h and k are both zero, which means the center is the origin, zero comma zero. Also notice both a squared and b squared equals nine, and therefore a equals b equals three. And now to graph the hyperbola, which is the level curve when c equals nine, let's make a point at the origin, the center. Notice the vertices are a units from the center to the right and left, and since a is equal to three, let's plot the point three comma zero. This is one vertex, and then we'll go back to the origin and go left three units. This is the other vertex. Let's also form this box here, which in our case will be a square, so we can sketch the asymptotes, which will help us make an accurate graph. So again, because b is equal to three, from the center we go up three units, back to the center and down three units, and then we'll sketch the square in this case, passing through those four points. The asymptotes go through the diagonals of the square. Let's go and sketch those. And again, from here we know the hyperbola opens left and right. On the right we have the vertex of three comma zero, so the graph will start here and approach the asymptotes in both directions. And now we'll grow the other vertex of negative three comma zero, and again the graph approaches the asymptotes. The blue hyperbola is the level curve for the function at c equals nine. I hope you found this helpful.